it's Marissa, Dev Deodorant's correspondent for Seventeen Magazine, and I just wanted to give you a little peek inside my world here at home in San Diego, show you the places I love to be and the places that make me feel inspired and creative. And the very first step is going to be the beach. Of course, can be in California and not love the beach. So let's go there. Marissa, I am here at my favorite beach in the whole world, and it's slightly cloudy and cold today, but it's a beach, so it stops. Let's see if we can make friends with this wheel. And that is the Oceanside Pier, little known fact, it's actually the longest wooden pier on the west coast. Say hi dad! Hi. Do you like the beach? Yeah, it's right. We love coming here all the time. It's our favorite spot and sometimes we even barbecue. As you can see, someone was recently here because there are still hot coals. My favorite thing about coming here and walking down this giant pier is at the very end of it is a wonderful little restaurant called Ruby's. And there's a bunch of rooms throughout Southern California, so if you're ever in the area, this is the best place to come. They have fruit thingies. Oh, they do? Yeah, they're four on the He just caught a fish. So we made it to the end of the pier. Look how long it is. Here's that amazing restaurant I was talking about. It's very quiet back here compared to at the front of the pier where all the waves are crashing. So that was my little tour of this awesome beach. I hope you enjoyed and definitely make a stop here if you're ever in California. I'm going to give you a sneak peek into my fashion design station which is just a table in the living room but it works for now so here it is this is my sewing machine the joke in my house is that instead of a car for my 16th birthday I got a sewing machine and I love this one because it has something on it that makes it easier to thread the needle which is amazing and here is a fashion illustration book. It's a hundred years of fashion illustration which means it has illustrations from all types of eras of fashion. It's amazing. I love looking through it and getting inspired by it. And here are some of my own sketches. This one is fully done. It's a dress that I'm going to be making soon. This is a wall in my room and I call it my design wall. I have this essay that my mom wrote for me, about me, and she gave it to me when I graduated. And then up there is a p picture of me and Nick Varios when I met him a few years ago. This is a collage that again my mom made for me. She's very creative and it sort of is different cutouts from magazines that she feels describes me. And right above it is a letter that Sky Sweetnam, hopefully you've heard of her and her amazing music, she wrote this to me after I'd made her a dress. And then I also have photos of Allie and AJ when I met them and then them in my designs. So that's 
pretty cool and I have this on my wall facing the opposite direction of my bed that way I can go to sleep and remember all of the amazing things I've gotten to do and be inspired to do even more things. In combination of the things that I put on my wall and my little sewing space, those all are places that inspire me and fuel my creativity and are where I spend most of my time as far as when I'm creating things. So, do you have a place like that too? Is there a place in your house or nearby that you go to whenever you need inspiration and feel creative and know that it's okay to let it out? Let me know. Comment on this video. I would love to know about your own creative places too.